Quizzes is a fun multiplayer quiz activity that you can have your students complete in class or you can assign as homework. Quizzes has recently redesigned their quiz editor and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Quizzes to create a quiz. I have gone ahead and logged into my Quiz Is account. You can see my menu or my dashboard over here on the left hand side which allows me to do different things within quizzes. The first option is to actually search through other people's quizzes that they have generated and you are free to use those in your classroom if you want to. But in this video we're going to focus on creating a quiz of our own. So we're going to choose Create Quiz. The first thing that you will need to do is enter a quiz name that is required. Optionally, you can upload a quiz image to identify your quiz. Once you've given the quiz a title, you'll go ahead and click Save. We'll go ahead and add some questions to our quiz by clicking Create New Question. You'll notice a couple of differences in the new quizzes editor. You can either have one correct answer in your quiz or you can select multiple select answer, multiple correct answers that the students must select all to get the answer correct. You'll see on the left hand side your quiz editor and you'll see on the right hand side a preview of what the quiz question will look to students. So we'll go ahead and enter our question and our answer cho choices. You can have up to five different answer options in a quiz question. You will notice that for both your answer options and the question itself, you have the ability to format text. You can italicize, underline, change the color. You can superscript. If you click these three dots, you'll have some additional options. You can subscript and you can even change the characters. So you can have Latin characters, Greek characters, currency, emojis. What student doesn't love emojis? And for you math teachers, there are a full set of math symbols that you can use to create equations as questions and answer choices. We're going to go ahead and leave ours as is, so we'll click that again to turn that off. You'll notice that on the right hand side you see what the question is going to look like on student devices. Also notice that you have the option to change the time limit for this question. By default it's 30 seconds, but you can select anywhere from 5 seconds down to 15 minutes. I really like these longer time limits down here because if you are a math teacher and you're wanting students to work out a math problem, it's going to take them a little bit longer so you can give them a longer length of time. In addition, if you're having students uh, work together to answer the questions, you might want to give them a little bit more think time as they collaborate before they answer the question. We're going to go ahead and leave this question set at 30 seconds. Before you save the question, you'll want to go ahead and select the correct answer so that Quizzes knows which answer is correct. And then we'll save. Well, let's go ahead and add another question by clicking this purple plus sign. Another new option in Quizzes is the ability to add images as both your question and your answer choices. So in this question, we're going to give them four images to choose from. So we're going to change this from text to image. We'll go ahead and enter in our question and upload our images. In a quiz is question, you must have at least two answer options, uh, but you can have up to five. If you don't need these additional answer options, you can go ahead and delete the option by clicking the trash can. Remember to select the correct answer and set the time limit. Notice that this is how a question with image choices as answer choices will look on the student device. Go ahead and click Save. You can continue adding questions to your quiz, but when you're finished, you'll go ahead and select Finish Quiz. Select the grade range which this quiz is appropriate for. Choose a relevant subject area and select a topic. Save the details. Once you are finished with the quiz, you can come back in and edit it at any time. You can duplicate it to reuse it um, and modify the questions. You can actually print it out and give it to your students that way. You can delete the quiz and you can even share it on social, social media. So now your quiz is ready to either play live or assign as homework. And that's how easy it is to create a quiz in quizzes.